So this is a very uncertain time. Things are changing daily uh, in regards to the situation that we're all going through. I figured I would take advantage of this situation and spend more time or prioritize more time on the things that I don't normally prioritize, like this YouTube channel and making music and other things like that. For those of you who are unfamiliar with me, my name is Burke Cullinane. I'm a filmmaker. I co-own a creative agency called King Wolf Creative, where we focus on video production, branding, brand identity, all that stuff. We do a lot of music videos and commercials, and we'll do the very occasional wedding. But I figured that it would be a good time maybe to do a Q&A just to kind of get the juices flowing with this YouTube channel. How much business in dollars have I lost since the pandemic hit? So for a lot of these questions, I think we, we need to look at the situation because every state is going to be different. Every country is going to be different for what has and hasn't closed or whatever guidelines that your local, state, national government have set in place. For me, I live in Connecticut. The business is based in Connecticut. And right now in Connecticut, all non-essential businesses are closed. Now that list for non-essential businesses is actually pretty long. And on that list is media and us being a media company, we're actually able to stay open and operate. Now we're doing everything that we can to, you know, social distance and, and you know, stay home as much as we can. And anyways, to answer this question, there have been projects that have been postponed. Some have been uh, just kind of put on hold. Some have just kind of been canceled altogether, but there are also projects that have come out of this that we've been able to take on. A lot of our commercial clients um, have needed to get messages out or create new commercials to promote a message about their business. You know, for example, like restaurants now are doing takeout and delivery and they're doing curbside pickup and all that stuff. So a lot of our clients, they need to get messages out to inform their audience, inform their customers that they are still operating, but they're operating at a different capacity. So as far as like the projects that have been canceled and, and, and whatnot, the thing is, is that I'm kind of Xing those out because of the new projects that have come in because of this situation. And I understand that that is not the case for every single, you know, production company or freelancer. This next one comes from Craig Smith, basically asking, uh, would you be looking to approach prospective clients now, and if so, how? And he's kind of referring to the difference between the UK and the US and how over there, they're pretty much in total lockdown where uh, only essential shops are open and you're only allowed out unless for one piece of exercise or essential shopping. And what I would say to, to answer that question is kind of based off that last answer, if you have any clients that you do work for that are commercial clients, any businesses, any local businesses that you know, something about their structure has changed, which is everybody at this point. I think now more than ever, video is is so important. It's, it's almost, it is essential. Don't get me wrong. It's extremely hard time right now to go out and sell because we are in a, in a crisis. But I do think that there is a benefit to being able to, to spread awareness and spread a message through video because it's a little more personable than an email or, you know, a social media post. That and also advertising. I mean, everybody's watching TV right now. Everybody's on their phones on social media. One thing that we're actually doing for like the next week or so, we're not going to do it for the entirety of this, of this crisis, but for the time being right now, um, if you book with us, I think for like the next week, we're actually discounting um, the entire production from shoot to edit to everything. So that's something that we're doing not only to try and bring in new work, but just to also help businesses out because I think it's, it's really important in a time like this to kind of come together and, you know, help people out as much as possible. Now, obviously social distancing is really important and you want to do everything that you can and, and follow the guidelines that are set in place by your, your government. So that may inhibit you from going out on a shoot or having somebody come to you and, and shooting in your location if you have a studio. There are workarounds around that. I don't know, it, you know, for us, some of our clients, we had pre-existing footage that we just kind of cut together, got a new voiceover, threw some graphics on it to, to, to get a new message, to create a new spot. So that's one way that you could do that. If it's a new client totally, um, you could get some stock footage, ask them if they have any high res photos, um, get all their logos and assets, get a voiceover recorded. You know, there's definitely ways that you as a filmmaker can use your editing skills to create some spots 
without actually having to go out and shoot. Next one on Twitter is from Kevin Ross asking, in this current climate, are you thinking about doubling down on YouTube to diversify or to spend this time primarily looking at your client work and how you can diversify there? During this time, I mean, definitely gonna continue to try and get as much work for as long as we can. Filming a video now, so I wanna try and get some more content going there. There's also other things that I want to spend more time on so that they don't get put on the back burner like um, our coffee side of the business, which I've kind of mentioned here and there. I'm, I'm trying to just do as much as I can. And you know, my wife, Jen, is a nurse. So, I mean, she's working today, 12 hours on a Sunday. So I have all the time in the world today to make a YouTube video or make some music or whatever. You know, I'm just, I wanna be as productive as possible. I don't want to become too lazy and not do anything with this time. I wanna, you know, find a good balance between being productive and staying relaxed. All I know is it's hard sometimes. And all I know is it's hard sometimes. I haven't been spending much time outside lately and kind of stopped raining. It's still drizzling a little bit, but I figured, yeah, why not just film the rest of this video outside? Matt Whitaker, what's one thing you have wanted to do creatively but always pushed off until someday? I would probably say like a solo project, like what I'm kind of working on right now. I've always just pushed that off to be like, oh, I'll do that later. I'll do that, you know, another day, or I'll do that when I get better at guitar. Yeah, lately I've just been like, no, I just, I'm just gonna do it. I have more time on my hands. Let's just let's just get after it. Armando, Armando, what's up? What are you going to do different this year after this whole coronavirus ends? I really want to do a short film, like a narrative short film. And we had collaborated with somebody last year um, as far as like writing a short film for Halloween and stuff, but we just didn't have enough time. We ended up getting really busy in October and I got married in October and all this stuff. So it just the time frame of it, it didn't really work out. Um, but that's something that this year I really want to do. And hopefully, uh, we will have enough time to do that this year. You know, once everything starts to go back to normal, I'm hoping that happens pretty soon because I, I really do want to get the ball rolling on that. Chris Wickless on Twitter. If money and resources were no object, what's the one piece of content you'd want to make that would get you the most excited? Um, probably, probably a documentary, probably a docu, like a feature length documentary, maybe a feature length film, but I'd probably want to do a documentary. I've always wanted to do a documentary and the subject matter would probably be something revolving around music. I don't know if it would be, yeah, I don't know exactly what, but probably some sort of feature length film, feature length documentary that is about music. George Fernandez on Twitter asks, when are we gonna see the new studio? We do have some videos in the queue for the King Wolf Creative YouTube channel, so you're gonna see all that stuff over there before you see it here. And uh, I'm hoping that maybe, I don't know, in the next month or so, but I mean, we still have a lot to do. Um, it's, it's obviously hard running a business and trying to do a build out all at the same time. But what we're probably going to do, and I, I originally didn't wanna do this, but what we're probably gonna do is put out segments of the process of the office coming together. Um, initially, I wanted to just do one big video, but I think that it's just gonna take a lot longer than we had originally anticipated. So yeah, hopefully once all this blows over, you should see something shortly after that. What's your favorite project you've ever been a part of? And this is a tough question, and I feel like this probably changes all the time, but 
Um, I've always wanted to do something for a brewery and like right before all this chaos started happening, we, we got to do a project with a brewery called Amherst Brewing and the project is still, we still need to get some shots. So it was a two day shoot. We already shot the first day. It's kind of complicated, but just to basically explain it, there's a lot of shot matching that we have to do. Um, so we wanted to look over all the stuff that we got on day one before going into day two. I'd probably say that one because we've just had a lot of fun with that project and it's just been a very hands-on from, you know, start to finish so far um, from pre-production and everything. It's just been really cool. I've, I've, I'm really excited to finish it and get it out and uh, yeah. That was from Vince Lundy and he also asked me another question, favorite Black Keys album. Okay, before Let's Rock, it would probably be a toss up between El Camino and Brothers, but Let's Rock is just banging. It's the, the riffs on that thing are slamming, so I'm going with Let's Rock. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna answer for today. If I didn't get your question, I'm sorry. Maybe next time, maybe we'll do another one of these soon. I don't know, I, I like doing these videos. I like doing some little Q and A's, but uh, yeah, I know everybody's saying this, stay safe, stay healthy, you know, stay home, and we will get through this together, but I mean, it is true. You know, if we work together, support each other, you know, support your local businesses, anyways. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.